Greetings, my name is Jean Yandui, and I'm the country director for World Relief DR Congo. Thanks to the support of organizations like Hope for Our Sisters, we are able to be the healing hands of Jesus for women who have suffered from sexual and gender-based violence. Your support enables us to come alongside women as they heal spiritually, emotionally, and physically. One of these women, Rebecca, recently shared her story with me, and with her permission, I wanted to share it with you today. Rebecca is a married mother of six children who lives in the village of Kalengera. When she was pregnant with her seventh child, Rebecca was raped by a man as she walked back from her field after searching for vegetables with her family. Though she tried to resist, the man hit her and forced himself on her. The trauma caused Rebecca to go into early labor. When she arrived at her home, she started bleeding and was quickly taken to the village health center. The nurses at the health center saw it fit to transfer her to the hospital in Rituru, where she had a cesarean section and sadly gave birth to a stillborn baby. Even as I read this story, I cannot imagine the pain Rebecca must have experienced. In the process of her cesarean section, she endured a hysterectomy and a urinary fistula. For Rebecca, this condition created the problems in her everyday life. I could not sit with others because of the smell and the continual flow of urine, she said. My husband, who could not stand this disease, abandoned me, sent me away and married another woman. I was left alone and I had no more means of getting treatment. But by divine grace, Rebecca says, she met a volunteer member from World Reef's SGBV club in Karengela. This woman heard about Rebecca's condition and came to visit. She told Rebecca that World Reef could help her get treatment for her disease. Two days later, the volunteer and a World Relief staff member took Rebecca to her center where her diagnosis was confirmed. The staff member explained to Rebecca that she would be taken care of and how her fistula would be repaired. In March 2021, the World Relief staff member picked Rebecca up and drove her to the hospital in Goma, where she received a fistula repair surgery. Today, just over a year after her surgery, Rebecca is fully healed. She says, here I am, back to my village, in good health today. I testify to be completely healed, and I praise the good Lord for what the World Relief Organization has done for me May God bless all the benefactors of World Relief. I encourage them to continue helping the vulnerable. It is God who will reward them. Today, I share these thanks with you and hope for our sisters as well. Together, we are helping women like Rebecca heal while working to make their communities safer through our peace-building efforts. Thank you.